Hello, in this video we are going to solve this interesting exponential equation. We have n power 9 plus n power 6 and this is equals to 36. And we are going to solve for the value of n that satisfies this equation. So instead of n power 9, we can express it as n power 3 or power 3 plus we do the same thing here. We have n power 3 or power 2 and this is equals to 36. So at this point we can say let y be equals to n power 3. So that means wherever we have n power 3 we are going to replace it with y. We now have n power 3 or power 3 that means we are going to have y power 3 plus here we have y power 2 is equals to 36. So we can rearrange this equation. We have y power 3 plus y power 2 minus 36 and this is equals to 0. So we need to solve this equation right now and we can solve this by testing. So we are going to test for the value of y that will satisfy this particular equation. So let's start. Let y be equals to 1. So we are going to check if y equals to 1, if this equation will be satisfied. That means if y is 1, we are going to have 1 power 3 plus 1 power 2 minus 36. And this is not equals to 0. So we say when y is equals to 2, we consider again, we have 2 power 3 plus 2 power 2 minus 36 and this is not equals to 0. So we go again. When y is equals to 3, we are going to have 3 power 3 plus we have 3 power 2 minus 36 and 3 power 3 is 27 plus 9 minus 36 and this is equals to 0. That means this is a valid solution. So we can convert it to y minus 3 equals to 0. If y equals to 3, that means y minus 3 equals to 0. So now we have gotten one of the factors to this particular equation. So in order to find the other factors, we are going to divide y power 3 plus y power 2 minus 36 we divide it by y minus 3. When we divide by y minus 3 we are going to find the other factors in such a way that we are going to multiply it with this y minus 3 and we will have this. So let's find the other factors and let's carry out the division. So in order to carry out the division we can use long division or we use synthetic method. So in this video we are going to make use of synthetic division. Now, in synthetic division, what we are going to do is simply, we are going to convert this back to solution, which is y equals to 3. We are going to write it here. 3, we have this line. We write out the coefficients of what we have here at the numerator. So the first coefficient of y power 3 is 1. The coefficient of y power 2 is 1. There is no y power 1, so the coefficient is 0. Then we have the constant, negative 36. We bring down the first one here. We multiply this 3 by 1, we have 3. We add 1 plus 3, and we have 4. We multiply this 3 by 4, and we have 12. We add 0 plus 12, we have 12 again. We multiply 3 by 12 and we have 36. When we add negative 36 plus 36, we have 0. Now, this actually translates into the 1 here is the coefficient of the first term, which is y power 2. Remember, this was y power 3, so we are reducing it to y power 2 and the coefficient is 1 plus 
the second term here is 4 and we have 4y then here this becomes a constant which is plus 12 so that means the two factors we have this y minus 3 times y squared plus 4y plus 12 and this is equals to 0 if you multiply these two factors you are going to have y power 3 plus y power 2 minus 36 so let's go further now that we have gotten these two factors now we have gotten our equation so we can actually solve for y we have y minus 3 to be equal to 0 or we have this other one y power 2 plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. Now, if y minus 3 is equal to 0, that means y is equal to 3. We have already discovered this before. Now, also, if y squared plus 4y plus 12 equals to 0, this is a quadratic equation. We are going to use discriminant to check if we are going to have a complex solution or not. So, if the discriminant is negative, it means we are going to have a complex solution. So, if it's positive, that means we are going to have a real solution. So, from this particular equation, b squared, we are going to have b is 4. So, let me write here. a is equals to the coefficient of y squared, which is 1. b is equals to 4. And c is equals to 12. So, that means b squared, we are going to have 16 minus 4 times 1 times 12 that is 48 and this will give us negative 32 meaning that this will give us a complex solution so we are not looking for complex solutions we are looking for real solutions that means the only real solution is y equals to 3 now recall Recall that y is equals to m power 3 and y is equals to 3. That means we are going to have 3 equals to m power 3. So in solving for n, that means we can actually multiply the exponent by 1 over 3. And we do the same thing here. So 1 over 3 will cancel 3. That means we have n equals to 3 power 1 over 3 or the cube root of 3 so this is the only valid solution for n now we can as well check if what we have done is correct so let me write a check now recall the problem we have n power 9 plus n power 6 is equals to 36 now if we may use of 3 power 1 over 3 then we are going to have 3 power 1 over 3 or power 9 plus 3 power 1 over 3 or power 6 and we need to be sure if this will give us 36 so we multiply these exponents 1 over 3 times 9 we are going to have 3 over 3 that is we are going to have 3 so you have 3 power 3 plus 1 over 3 times 6 we are going to have 6 over 3 and that is 2 we have 3 power, power 2 and this should be equals to 36 because 3 power 3 is 27 plus 3 power 2 is 9 and this is equals to 36 so we have proven beyond doubt that this is actually the only solution that is cube root of 3 which is this is the only real solution so that is it for the video let's go through the steps so we have it all here so that is it for the video thank you and goodbye